your grandma was born one year and 11 kilometers next to Hitler? Yes, you're right. In fact, the difference between my great grandmother and Hitler was 16 months and 25 kilometers. They were relatively close. When she was pregnant with your grandfather, Hitler was in Vienna? At that time, she was 23 and worked as a maid in a pub close to Hitler's birthplace. I'm sure she didn't get to know him. Not then. Your grandfather's name was Paul, and you said his father is unknown. At that time, Hitler was starving in Vienna, and then he fought in World War I. After this was lost, Hitler came in touch with the conspiracy theory of his life. In these years, my grandfather Paul was also starving. He said he only had enough to eat for the first time when he was deployed in World War II. As a soldier, he started in Linz, and there he met his future wife, my grandmother. They had three children, including your mother. And he was sent to Russia. He said he wasn't able to shoot at the enemy. He couldn't shoot at people. He surrendered and became a war prisoner in Russian captivity. Tch. Only because of your grandpa Paul, Hitler lost the war. A Russian sergeant gave Paul an extra boiled egg every day. That probably saved my grandfather's life. After the war he returned to his family. You said he demanded from your grandma to have lunch ready at exactly 12 o'clock each day. Whenever I visited my grandparents, she had lunch ready with the chiming of the church bells. Your grandparents' town was seized by the British and then Paul learned English. <laughs> He really believed that thank you very much was one word. Later I found out that this was his entire English vocabulary. Danke. Thank you very much. What did he think of Hitler? Paul didn't speak much about Hitler or the Holocaust. For Paul, the Nazis meant having enough to eat for a while and then only not starving to death because a Russian sergeant gave him an extra egg a day. Yes, my next exhibition is in the Brick Lane Gallery. You told me there are traces of a strong Jewish community in the Brick Lane. There are two Beigel shops. I didn't know that. How Hitler are you? Let's imagine I'd believe in a conspiracy theory and I'd talk about it and people would follow me and the more bullshit I'd talk, the more people would follow me. And in the end, I'd be the leader of the state and people would call me the greatest leader of all times. I guess I'd become megalomaniac like Hitler did. But I don't believe in conspiracy theories. I wouldn't be convincing. And everybody has internet now, on their smartphones. They can check facts and research everything. Nobody believes in conspiracy theories anymore. Let's eat a Beigel. Did Hitler ever eat a Beigel? Thank you very much.